the arts bring out a lot of wonderful things in human beings that motivate them, that make it fun to go to school. It also helps cultivate capacities that otherwise are not cultivated. Critical thinking skills, particularly with a student who's studying music, helps in math, in science, and in language arts. Not everybody wants to play basketball or football or be in a swim team or do a variety of other avenues that kids pursue. Learning how to collaborate, not cooperate, but collaborate, which is two different things. Students, I mean one after the other, say, I come to school because of this class and I stay for the other classes. Arts education is often rooted in project-based learning that's critical to the Common Core. So I think now more than ever is a wonderful time to invest in that arts coordinator position. When I was hired, um, I can't remember if I've told this story or not before, they literally gave me a cell phone and a computer and they said go out and create the job or create the programs that you think need to exist for our kids. And so this is coming from someone who went to school here, who grew up here, who has kids in the system, who's taught for many years and so on. I'm thinking who's going to help me with this? Who's out there that you know cares about kids and wants to you know have arts programs? When Luisa was hired she came to us and she said I know we're doing some things with you that are successful. I know you're doing a lot of other things in another district. We would like to do some more of that and how can we make that happen? When Luisa came along the scheduling which was an absolute nightmare to get done she had systems in place already. You get an answer from her, and then she has the resources to coordinate the things for everybody. We've been partnered for, oh gosh, many years now. Having a liaison between the museum and the school districts really opens the doors. What Luisa has done here as arts coordinator of PSUSD is enormous and it wouldn't just happen with the organizations reaching out to teachers individually or to schools individually. My job was to make it easy for arts organizations to come inside to our schools and easy for the schools to receive them. So that requires a knowledge of what school life is like, what it's like to be a teacher, what it's like to be an administrator, and also what the needs of an artist are and what it's like to come into schools and perform and so forth. We made a pact quite a few years back that we were going to keep arts in the schools. What we didn't know is that the arts would be going out of the schools. When I started the job, and this will be familiar to any school district, we had lots of money and then within a year we had no money. In education, the arts come in and out of vogue. Uh, it's highly related to uh, the budget, mo monetary dollars available, um, and, and it seems like the arts are a very easy thing to be on the chopping block. But the thing about a partnership is you're in it together, and so they didn't walk away from us. They didn't abandon ship. We kept going. Districts have the opportunity to bridge organizations like mine to the students and make us a resource that we really want to be. It takes a little of that angst away knowing that you have another organization that is going to be bringing in arts. It keeps a, a, an infusion of the arts even when there are limited resources. The whims of fate and funding in our state are pretty interesting and challenging, but stability of programming is really important. There's been a strategy from the very get-go of how we can serve as many students as possible, how we can make it uh, equal and fair. We have 24,000 kids, and it's a captive audience, so to speak, and the arts partners have the art form and the talented artists, and so it's a natural coming together wherein the arts organizations really want to cultivate and develop an audience. My big five partners are the McCallum Theater, the Palm Springs Art Museum, the Palm Springs Opera Guild, Steinway Society, and Red Hot Ballroom. And even in just the past few years, new ones are coming on Palm Springs Film Festival, El Paseo Fashion Week, Coachella Valley Repertory, Desert Art Center. Organizations like mine want to be working with students and the arts coordinator is paving those roads into the district. I don't think they know that it's the arts being brought to them. Young kids just care that something is brought to them. It's like a gift. Over time, the arts organization might want to try new or expanded programming, or the district might have needs. We've added programs through the years as well, as the need grew. Now we're serving 
every third grade class in the school districts. And we think that we are turning out you know, much different uh, fifth grade students promoting into sixth grade, ready to go into the art. How do we do an exhibition that shows the work that these third graders are doing and follow them through to see if they're able to become live learning museum goers? Parents and students both would like to see really innovative interesting programming during intercession. Continuing to, to develop underserved populations, um, doing more with special ed, more with gifted and talented students in the arts. How far and how fast can we push those kids? If you get somebody that sees a comprehensive world of the arts, you'll get some of everything. Therefore, offering the students a much more comprehensive and well-rounded education. A lot of other resources that squandered that sometimes it pretty much nobody benefits. In this instance, the kids do. My job every morning for the past eight years has been to wake up and think about how to preserve arts program, how to make it good, how to keep it going, how to order buses, how to place subs, how to develop talent and so on. So if a district is committed and they put someone in charge of it and they're kind of like a sheepdog herding all of those resources all of the time, then they have a real shot at developing a solid program that's stable. One of the keys to the success of our program is no one ever said, no, that's a terrible idea, you shouldn't try that. It was always go out and try it and see what comes of it. So there is a risk taking inherent in the arts and I was always allowed to take those risks and take those chances because at the end of the day it's just the same as being in a classroom. You'll reflect on the year and you'll realize what's working and what's not working and you'll scrap certain things and, and other things will continue to roll along and get better and stronger. I think that's like one of my greatest strengths slash weaknesses is I'm just too dumb to be afraid of it. I just go. <laughs> I just go, you know.